Is there a reason this double mind has been induced? If someone is making us deliberately mentally ill, it may be that this is done so that we will look to that someone for healing and relief. Into the double mind breach step the elite managers of the Masonic Hermetic Academy who through symbol and word manipulation can temporarily unite our persona and anima, thus lifting an immense burden from us, relieving us, if you will, of our stress and confusion. Oh, you have a problem? We have an answer. Oh, a building blew up in Oklahoma City. My goodness, let us protect you, for this could happen to any building. Let us take away your arms and ammunition so that you cannot protect yourself. <laughs> let us furnish your security. Trust us. We will be good to you. We will never become despotic or tyrannical. Let us take care of you. We will save you from yourselves. Isn't that... Isn't that what we hear? The double mind breach. The relieving us of our stress and confusion. And this function can easily, ladies and gentlemen, assume in the minds of the subject patients, the people, a godlike status. I submit this status is characterized by the use of the term they in our society, as in, why don't they come up with a tire that will never wear out or a cure for cancer? As in, they have a cure for cancer, but the doctors would lose too much money, so they have suppressed it. Or, they say the CIA killed Kennedy and he was fornicating with Marilyn throughout his presidency. They write the movie scripts and the billboard slogans. They have the money and the power and control of the illusion machine. They can cure cancer or withhold the cure. They reveal the secrets behind assassinations and scandals. What will they do next? How will they program the show today? Let's sit back, watch, and find out. And since we choose to refuse to genuinely heal the rift between the two sides of our mentality by the tough means of repudiating our lying public persona and taking action on the understanding of our true self, we relinquish autonomy to those who make it appear that they can heal us at no great cost or trouble on our part. You don't have to be responsible. You don't have to take any risk. You don't even have to get up off your couch. We will heal you. We will provide you security. We will take care of you. But never mind that they are also the ones who implanted the rift in the first place, a la Hegel, and the dialectic is working upon us all the time. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, we have little or no power. We cannot act. We cannot invent. We cannot cure. We must wait and see what happens. We must see what they make happen. And if you believe that, you're already dead and buried. And if you want proof that that's not true, I am living proof. The final coffin in the nail of our free will is the fact that we ourselves know in our heart of hearts that what I just told you is not true. It is false. And I have proven it false over and over and over again. The second thing that I think we should bear in mind is that these European alchemists live in a time in which... The world was corrupt, selfish, chaotic, and that human life was in constant danger. But we live in much more fortunate times than <laughs> <laughs> we are not living in the 
You see, it is we, it is we, the people who have the power and the responsibility. And we could crush them tomorrow morning if we but chose to do it. You see, they are only an illusion, every bit as ephemeral as the patter of a carnival sideshow bunko artist beckoning to us from the other side of the hoochie-coochie tent. And that is the truth. They practice magic. Magic is nothing but the art of illusion. And if they can fog your brain and dazzle you with baffling BS. And if they can desensitize you with flooding you with violence on a daily basis over and over and over again on television and in movies and on radio. They're practicing magic. Through the art of illusion, they are destroying your ability to act and to think and to perform. They are taking away your power, but it is not really they who take it away. It is you who give it You give it by your participation in this magic act. But you see, some people know that we have the power. And some people know, they know that we could crush them tomorrow morning if we chose. But they don't want to, you see, because if we overthrew them tomorrow, we would have to write our own scripts and be responsible and take care of ourselves and take risks and provide for our own securities. We would have to heal ourselves. We would have to admit the colossal waste and loss and destruction of the past years which our laziness and folly have made possible. We would have to experience the pain of being alive and responsible. We would have to start acting like men and women instead of as children, as slaves, and as weaklings as we are prone to do today on a daily basis. The Hermetic Academy, being great scholars of human nature, know this and depend upon our ignorance, apathy, and stupidity and our willingness to go along with this magic act in order to enslave us. Some say the king. 